everyone, it's Di from Dyer's Den here and welcome to another video. This week I'm going to show you how to make this card. This card is called a pocket card. It was inspired by a card that I saw from another demonstrator from Nova Scotia in Canada called Tina Zinc. So it's a pocket card because the card on the inside just pops out like a pop out of the pocket. I've done one in a female card and I stapled that and I don't like the way I did that so with our next card I did with a um, pull tab like this on the top so that's the way we're going to do our card today these cards actually stand up like this with a nice stand on the back the ones that uh, Tina did they didn't have a, a a stand on the back and for me I don't like cards that I've got to prop up against something I like a card that will stand independently to be viewed so we're going to make that card but we're going to do it with some new products so I'll just pop them out of the way and we're going to be using the pansy punch um, patch sorry pansy patch <laughs> set and I'm going to be using a little hello from me to you and wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you from this the stamp set and we're going to make a pansy flower from the dies these are the dies and we're going to make a large flower so we would need one of these two of that one one of this one two of this one of those and one of these out of the three plus I'm doing the large leaf so you would need two of the, that large leaf and two of that large leaf so I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's made the, the pansy I'll pop them out of the way and it looks absolutely gorgeous and, and that's what the pansy is going to look like but I have one that I haven't assembled yet so we're going to assemble that together so we can see how it goes together so you can see just how easy it is to pop the thing together it is just so gorgeous I love it we're also going to be using evening evergreen which is one of the new in colors and uh, some of the new 2021-2023 in color jewels I'm going to use I'm not sure which colour, but we'll see when we get there. So, and I have some of this beautiful evening evergreen ribbon that I'm going to be using as well. So, let's pop that over there. Let me tell you all the bits we need and the colours I'm going to be using. So, this is um, so succulent. I think that's what it's called. Um, I can't remember now. I've got an itchy nose too. Excuse me. Um, and that's one of the new in colours and this piece is 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 8. This piece is for the stand and this piece measures, where is it, I'll put it, I've got it up there, um, 5 and 5 eighths by 4 inches. This is my insert and this measures 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths and then my white layer which is going to measure 5 and 3 eighths by 3 and 5 eighths. For the front of my card I have a piece that measures 4 and 3 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths and my designer series paper which is from the new Pansy um, designer series paper which is absolutely gorgeous and this piece measures 4 and 1 eighth by 3 and 5 eighths plus another piece that measures 3 and 7 eighths by 1 inch and a piece that measures 3 and 5 inch by 3 quarters of an inch. Now I'm not sure whether I'm going to pop it up that way. I don't think so. I think I'm going to pop it this way because I'm going to put the dark green on. And then I have another piece here that measures half an inch by 4 inches or just under four inches it doesn't actually really matter how big it is it's just for that um, making the uh, these tags on the top here so that was the piece oh gosh I've got such an itchy nose this morning um, so this is the piece I had left over so that's why I've got that piece so let's pop all of them out of the way except for our main card and this is a really easy card to make too I think it's absolutely gorgeous and it's really easy so we're going to pop this into our scoreboard on the long side and we're going to score this at one and a quarter inches 
and five and seven eighths of an inch. Now that's all the scoring we're going to do on that, but we might as well, while we've got our um, scoreboard here, we might as well score our stand, which is the piece that is five and five eighths by four inches, and we're just going to score that down the middle at two inches. And that's all the scoring to do all together. So we'll pop that stand piece out of the way for a moment and we'll bring in our piece of card and we're going to just fold this in half, fold and burnish this in half as we would do normally a normal card. And then with the piece that we scored at the one and a quarter inch mark, we're going to fold that back the opposite way. And I forgot to bring my glue dots in so excuse me while I turn you off and get my glue dots. Okay glue dots are here now so <laughs> okay so that's our main card and we also now need in our two pieces off for the front. Now the length is the long the the longest piece is the length so at four and three eighths that is the length of it. So we're going to glue our four and one eighth piece onto our four and three eighth piece and we're also going to glue our other two pieces together as well for our front. Now it's up to you whether you want to contrast it or the same depending on your paper you just have to remember if you're like me you've got a directional paper you must get your direction the correct way so you need your direction on the longest length of that otherwise it would look strange being put in that way okay so we're going to now glue this to the front of the card lifting our tab bit up out of the way because we want this to be nice and even in the middle here and then I'm going to just turn that over so that my tab is now showing only so the inside of my card is and I'm going to glue my small piece for the front onto there So once I've done that, I'm now going to get my glue dots, which are brand new, brand spanking new, and I'm going to pop a few glue dots on the underside of my flap. Just that it helps it to stay down nicely. There is, you don't have to put them there if you don't, oh, that one stuck to my finger, not to the thing. You don't have to put them there if you don't want to. So once that's down, that is the main part of our card. So what we're going to do next is we're going to use our um, double-sided tape. And I have the half-inch double-sided, no, quarter-inch double-sided tape here. And I'm going to just start in the middle, well, at the roughly the two-thirds mark across the front. And we're going to go across the front across the back and back around to the front to the same spot and tear it off. So we're going to make sure that's down nice and hard all the way around. And then we're going to pop our ribbon around the same way. So let's pop that on the one side. So I'm going to pull my piece off, my release tape off the top of this rib, um, double sided tape here and I'm going to pop my ribbon on here all the way around the back and back around to the front and we're going to just chop that off let me find my scissors and that's our bit of ribbon for there we're going to make a bow in a moment but we won't do that at the minute so that is the front of our card done. So now we're going to put our stand on. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our stand piece of card and we're going to kind of fold that in half long, lengthways. 
along that two inch score line and for me I like to round the corners on the end that's going to stand out only because I think that it just finishes it off better mm. if you can get it to punch there we go so because this is four inches and the card is four and one eighth this is going to go very very close to the edge there but to the top here because you want on the bottom of the card you want that that um, quarter inch so that when it stands it leans back a tiny bit so we're going to now I don't know why my glue is very runny today probably because it's chilly so we're going to pop that on there and we're going to pop this onto the back of our card right at the top and very close you can even put it right on the edge if you really want to so we're going to pop that on there and we're going to make sure that's down nice and tight along that edge with that as I say with that being up that piece when it sits it will lean back which means it will will not stand up straight like that and have the chance of falling over it will lean back a bit so while that's drying, let's pop that on one side, we're going to bring in our two pieces for our insert and our little piece of scrappy bit here, which is half an inch wide. I'm going to flag the ends of this piece on both ends and then so you can do that by hand, you don't have to do it on a machine if you don't want to. And then I'm just going to fold them over so that they come together at the top like so. And we're going to glue that just in there so that they just actually just pop out the top. So, oh gosh, it is really leaking like a sieve today. <laughs> I suppose that saves me having to keep squeezing the bottle. So I'm only putting like... You don't want it to be too high because of going into an envelope, but you want it to be, don't want it to be too low that the recipient doesn't understand that they've got to pull that. So we're going to pop that onto there like so, and that's sort of seeing out about a half an inch at the top on the on the longest one. Let's pop that onto one side for a moment. I'm going to do our bit of stamping. So we're going to going to stamp our saying in the middle wishing you a little extra happiness because of your you oops I'm a little bit wonky and then across the top oops turn that up the other way so it's up the right way I'm going to pop a little hello from me to you So that's all the stamping we're going to do. So once that's dry on there, we're going to now glue that onto there like so. And then I'm going to have to get a tissue to clean this before I put the, <laughs> the pin back in today. It is really popping out the top. <laughs> Never mind. Oops. Okay, so that's on there like so all this nice and glued down let's just make sure that's across the top there yep beautiful and we'll pop that on one side for a moment and we're going to make our other poppy a uh, pansy now this one obviously i'll give to mum but we'll go through this i have two leaves to put together and one flower so let me show you what we do it's very simple so we have this piece and it's once it cuts us out it has an embossed section on it so it looks really beautiful and it makes it easier for you to see which side is the right side up I think anyway so we're going to pop some oh sorry we're going to pop some glue around this and I don't know why this is leaking unless I've got a split in it. 
and pop this onto our white one. We're also going to pop our centerpiece here onto this piece as well. So we might as well do that now. And as I say, these go together so easy. With our two other petals, we're going to take one of these each and place some glue on there. And we're going to pop them across the top. And once again, these have the, the embossed lines on them, so they are so easy to see which that you've got them up the correct way. And I think that's just fantastic when you can do that. Just really makes life a little bit easier. Okay, so while we do, we'll just get these leaves together the same way. Let's pop these leaves together. And then we will assemble it. And that way our leaves can dry a little bit. Okay, that's our leaves done. So what we're going to do first is we're going to pop these two together like this. So we're going to pop a little bit of glue down this side here. And just glue those together. As close or as far apart as you want. I think that just overlapping them probably about a third maybe or a quarter to a third is really good. We're then going to get our tweezers and pop this piece in the middle. So this is our little stamen bit, I think that's what they call that bit, in the middle of your pansy flower. Oops, get on there. <laughs> he doesn't want to stay there. There we go. He's in the centre there now. So I'm actually going to put the pin in this glue because it's oozing out everywhere. I don't know why. And I'm going to get some um, of the mini dimensions. And I'm going to put three of these onto the top side of my under petals. And once I've done that, I can pull the backs off of them. Get off of there. And lay that down flat and pop my other part of my pansy over the top like so. How gorgeous does that look? So we're going to just, actually we're going to just glue these two together on an angle. So we'll need that glue. Ugh, that pin's got to come out again. And let's wipe some of that glue down there. That's that. Oh, what a mess today. Okay, so we don't want that bit down there, so we just wipe that off because this glue is really good. It doesn't dry sticky. So, And then we're going to just put a couple more of the mini dimensionals onto the top of this. And you can work out where you want to put it. I think I'll put it on the side this time, not on the, on the bottom like I did the other one. Like so. So there's my flowers. I'm only going to be using one. So let me pop my pin back in my glue because it's still oozing. And I'll pop them out of the way for a second. And we can bring back in our card. So now we can pop... Oops! My ribbon has not stuck there. You better stick. Boy, you better stick, boy. There we go. Pop our card inside like so. How gorgeous does that look? And we're going to pop our flower here so we will pop some more dimensions onto the back of this. And I've only got minis because 
keep blooming forgetting to buy them. I'm really bad for that. I put in my order and I forget. Now with these ones, because I've already got one, I'm going to have to put one on top of it. But you must make sure that you remove the one underneath, otherwise they won't stick. Okay, so let's pop another one just there. And that one on top. Okay, that's that. Let's pull these off of here. And we'll pop our flower just below the join because I'm going to put a ribbon there. So there's my flower on there, so I'm going to bring in my ribbon and I'm going to tie myself a bow. Let me see if I can do it on my my um, thingy here, if I can remember how to do it. Up underneath, over the top. Through the middle. I think that's how it goes. Come on, get in there. I haven't got enough. There we go. So then it comes over the top and it goes underneath and through. That's it. And I'm going to tie that, cut that piece off just there. Pop my ribbon out of the way. And I have my bow all cut up done beautifully. So we're going to use a couple more glue dots on the back of this bow. Let's just pop over the top of the join if it's showing. I'm going to then trim my ribbons so that they're the right lengths. There we go. And pop on a few gems. I haven't even opened yet. <laughs> and I think I'm going to go with the green ones, the evening evergreen ones. Oops, get off my finger. I've got glue on my fingers from this. It's so sticky. So let's see. Let's pop three on here. So pop them just down the middle. Oops like so just to give it a bit of clean and that's our card how gorgeous is that and how easy is that if you would like me to do a tutorial on this but how to use the bow maker which is not a stamping up product but it is so easy to use really as you could see how easy it was there um i will do one but just leave me a comment saying yes please you'd like a, a little um, video on how to do that and I will do that. So that's our card for this week. And I hope you've enjoyed that. And it's called a pocket card. Please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any more of my videos. And give me a thumbs up or, or a thumbs down, whichever you prefer. Um, leave me a comment. I love to hear from you. I do answer all my comments. It might take me a few days, but I do answer them all. And I will see you again next week. Bye for now.